Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh, Bahasham, Rukha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who well and labor in this word and doctrine. So, I know we don't have much plan for this lesson. We're just going to talk about the concept of uh, depression, okay? And how people consider it, you know, a place, um, um, consider it basically a, um, what do you call it? A low state in your mind, really. You know, like. You know what's best to do? So it's like, you can give you a definition of depression. I think that's what you can. can. Definition of depression uh, from Google search, and it comes up with feelings of severe despondency and dejection, self doubt creeps in, and that swiftly turns to depression. That being an example of it. And the a second definition is a long and severe recession in an economy or market. Okay, I love the etymology. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, but that is how they use it today. You know? oh, true. Yeah, hold that. Yeah. Right, and it's from the 1400s as a term in astronomy, angular distance of a star below the horizon. But that's not the one we're looking for. Uh, that is still press down to be pressed. Okay, I don't know. Right? I'd <laughs> Depressed down, no? To depress. Dep if someone is depressed, they are put down by force. Right. So, you know, it's not like... Because what, what it is, is that... The, the, the world sees depression, at least... Quite a plethora of people... Will say depression is like a mental condition in which you cannot stop. That you cannot become happy... If you have depression, so to speak. Rather than, you know, you're in a state where you are depressed, you're put down. It says by force, because... Demons are upon you when you're in that state, or you know you're. But it, it could also be in a sense where you're sad. You know that you're just simply upset, and then it doesn't mean that you have a condition in which you cannot possibly, you can't possibly, you know, have uh, like cure it, you know, so to speak. Right. To and alleviate it, the pain, basically. Yeah. Yeah, and the modern the modern concept of depression is you have this mental condition now. We have to give you these pharmaceuticals, this pharmakaya, these witchcraft sorcery potions, and this this is going to help you with your depression. That's how that's basically the um, that's how it works in this world. But really, you know, if you have if you have some form of depression, if you're feeling sad, you know, it doesn't always necessarily mean you cannot stop it. It's all, it depends on the Lord's will. It's all the Lord's will, and we are we're in a position where we're not necessarily at rest. You know, we're not exactly in a state where we're always happy, we're feeling good. Especially because now we have this wisdom. We understand more things. That's I'm going right. to get two scriptures. There's Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart. So we have to have that spirit to, you know, depart from the ways of this world. And eventually, if, you know, the, the, elect, the elect will be actually taken out of the lands in which they're, they're scattered. They will be put in the. They will be put into the land, in which is their inheritance. Okay, our inheritance, the nation of Israel, starting with the elect and Lord willing, we have that number. But again, Micah two and ten it says, "Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest." We're not supposed to feel like we're in complete rest right now. You might have you might be able to have some level of rest for your labors. It's not like you oh, you're working twenty four seven literally. But there's always some level of um, there's always burdens upon you in this wicked world because. You're surrounded by your enemies. You're surrounded by all types of degeneracy, all types of theft, you know, treachery, lies. It, it can be very, very, uh, yeah, it can be a big burden on you. You can feel sick and tired of living, man, you know. But then again, when you feel sick and tired of living, you have to know what comforts you. Could you get me, oh, do you have a precept first? Hold no, it. I can't. Then. I'm, oh, I'm going to finish it first. Oh, yeah, yeah. My bad. This is Micah 2 and 10. Uh, it says arise ye and I'll, I'll get the scripture I was going to bring out regarding you know you don't want to live anymore the truth is is that you have to basically remember why you're here okay because a lot because saying can come on you when you're feeling like that because that's you, you can, you're feeling a state where you do feel weak but we're weak in this flesh but in the spirit we're willing to do 
you know, all the things the Heavenly Father requires of us. Okay, that's how we should be anyway. We say weak because we believe such. Our, our flesh is weak though. And our flesh will want us, you know, to, 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 to do you know, to basically go off to do whatever appeases the flesh so you can have this fake enjoyment. But all that is all deceitful lust and that's what the world promotes. But let's get the scriptures out. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is uh, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore of destruction. So you're looking for happiness in ways of this world, you, it will destroy you. And you will you will want us you will you if you're in the world, you know you do tend to seek death. And that's the point, you know. That people kill themselves, commit suicide, which is you know it's not a scriptural thing we should do, it's not something we should do. If the Lord has given you life, well then you, you must do the right thing in your life, all right? And that, you know, those of the hopeful elect, you know, we we push out this truth while we're alive because we know that's what that's what we that's what we aim and what else do we live for? We ain't got nothing better we need to do. We have to do other things. We have to operate in this world and use it, not abuse it. But really, that's what we want to live for. Okay? I want to bring the scripture before you bring yours. It's Ecclesiastes chapter one and verse eighteen. Uh, I'll start at verse seventeen actually. And I gave my heart to know wisdom, and to know madness and folly. I perceived that this also is vexation of spirit. For much wisdom is much grief, and he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. So when you gain knowledge, you start to gain sorrow as well, because you start to realize what the world really is. And true wisdom, told, you know, it, it, it declares, it's, it's, you know, in the scriptures, it, it declares what the world really is. I mean, it's discussed, it's polluted, man. It's polluted, it's, it's full of filthiness. Physically, in the carnal sense, spiritually, man. This is Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Fear thou not, but I am with thee. Be not dismayed, but I am thy power. Right? You know, we have the Lord on our side. No matter what, you know, trials and tribulations we're going through, we're just that type of people, you know, to rise above it. You know, everybody else in this world is, is in a deep, dark state. That's why, you know, they're on, you know, pharmaceuticals. You know, they don't know where to turn. They look for answers in this world and they're completely confounded but we have the Lord who is our strength and yes we're in the flesh and we will you know you know suffer but again we have the Lord to you know lift us up fear thou not for I am with thee be not dismayed for I am thy power I will strengthen thee yea I will help thee yea I will uphold I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness that's right bro. And that's that's only really going to be for, for his for his uh, elect nation, and really for the elect of the elect. Can you know? Because no, these other nations they ain't going to get safety. You know, what I mean, they, they don't have it's only because whoever's remaining after when Yahusha returns and brings judgment to America, Babylon the Great, the remaining is going to be taken in chains in captivity. So really they're going to be taken into captivity the only way they're going to have any form of uh, knowledge of truth is going to be through us but the right. safety onto them the Lord isn't protecting them you know, in a sense where he's looking out for them to love them so to speak but the Most High said that you know, in the scriptures it makes it clear that the other nations are nothing he made them to be under us and they're, they're made really for us and for him but through us Right. They're made for him, but not to be his children, not so he can love them, so he can give them law, statutes, commandments, so to speak. He did that only for his chosen nation. Yeah. Uh, I'm just looking for this scripture. Bear with me. It might be. Should I, I bring think one it, out while you're looking? Uh, I think. Maybe if you, it's okay if you can help me. Actually, you know yeah. the scripture that goes into. Uh, um, if you try to paraphrase. It goes into uh, not seeking death for your life. Just one that strive for the truth until death. No, but, uh, uh, I mean, uh, not seeking uh, death while you're alive. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Exactly. So not not trying to kill yourself is an example of seeking like not seeking death. If you go wisdom of Solomon, just type in death. Right. That help. And close the Bible while the wind's blowing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's lucky. Just bear with us. Yeah, we'll 
Wait. Should I look for it? Yes, yeah, yeah. once again. It's taken a while. It would have helped if you planned out a bit more. Golden Shit, do you have a back? We're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to just move on to your scripture. Slack. Okay. Once again, Slack. You know, I didn't know what you remember exactly the scripture I was referring to. This is Matthew. And if, uh, oh, sorry, if any sorry. brothers do know it, if uh, you could please uh, just put in the in the comments about the show. Matthew chapter eleven, verse twenty-six. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son, but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Come unto me, all ye that labour, and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, yep. my burden is light. Yep, it's wider for that one, it's a perfect one. Because you know, the, it's, 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 it should be like easy for us to conform to the truth because you know, it ultimately it's the truth. You do sign up for afflictions once you're in the truth. But you know, of course, you know, because there's going to be sufferings coming to this world either way. How much better is to suffer for the truth's sake than to suffer, you know, for, for being a wicked man, you know? Like, do you want to get that in First Peter? Can. It's an easy yoke to get into, man. He's not, he's not making us. You know, he's, he's not making us build temples. He's not making us run a mile every day. You now, what we do is we teach, we edify, we go through the scriptures, and we, and we bring it out. And do, of course, eat the whole roll. You know, watch out, look out. Edify brothers on the times. Pray. Fast, exhort one another. Oh, yeah. First Peter. Four. Four and sixteen. Verse sixteen. Yeah, if any man suffer. Oh, start with verse fifteen, sorry. Can. First Peter four and fifteen. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer. So uh, an evildoer as well, if you're suffering as an evildoer, because that's the thing. The people of the world, they do evil things and evil comes into their life. That's, that's you know, of course, the Heavenly Father is not going to bless those truly and truly who are wicked. You know, of course, you can see that the worth is given into the hand of the wicked. But even then, you know, the wicked people who are of low degree, right, the peons, right, they're, they're going through shit on a level like that's, that's still bad. You know, like, they, for example, like, you know, Andrew Tate was talking about this. Like people, um, people, what they live for, and you know, we're, we're in front of the first direct arena, all right? People live for going to places like concerts and parties, but they hate every second of their life, but they go to these things to have this temporary happiness. But really, it, it ain't really making them too happy. They don't really understand. They don't understand what they're doing in their life. They don't really consider how bad their life is because they're too distracted. They're taken out of their track a lot. And people do it with almost anything. You don't have to go to parties or concerts. Some people don't drink alcohol, but what? You're still going to sit at home and watch Netflix for too long and get yourself occupied in bullshit. And really, it's because the more you learn about the truth, the more sad you get because you learn that. Like, you know, they say the news is depressing, or whatever, because you learn, well, because well, you're learning what the world's really like, man. Exactly. Keep reading. First Peter 4 and 15. Yep. But let none of you suffer as a murderer yep. or as a thief. Or as an evildoer, yep. or as a busybody yep. in other men's matters, there you go. and uh, that's that's a common thing in the world. You wanna, you wanna just look up, and like people look at other men's wives and stuff, and celebrities' wives. People look up too much about what other people's, that what's happening in their life. Right. And don't get me wrong, if articles come up, we can make a video on it. But is that what these people in the world are doing? They're just too concerned about everyone else. They wanna go watch Love Island, and they wanna just. 
Yeah, just shit like that. They're too concerned about things that don't really matter, and they're distracted. They wonder why they're sad because they 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 they, they just focus too much on shit that don't matter, man. They don't have any real fulfillment within their day. But that's exactly what Esau Edom, the, you know, the so-called white man, the rulers, the elites. That's exactly this is their plan to make you basically a very happy, dedicated slave. Keep going. Can. Verse 16. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai on this behalf. Right. So again, glorify Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai if you have to suffer things by following the Messiah, man. Because you're going to. Because when, when all hell breaks loose, you know, tribulation will come upon those that truly believe. And remember the scriptures, man, I'm going to bring this scripture before you move on. This is John 16. Because this, this is a clear scripture as well to show you, man, that these, these people are going <laughs> to... They're, they're, just, they're stupid, man. This is John 16 and, and verse 1. These things have I spoken unto you that you should not be offended. So if we have to go through tribulation, be not offended, man. If, there, if, you, if you have to be sad now, only to have eternal happiness in the kingdom, go through it, man, because this, this world doesn't mean anything. Living in this world is, is nothing, man. It's, it's, it's really fake enjoyment, deceitful lust. And everyone just walking around, walking around, la -dee -da -dee -da. like I was saying to you in the call last night, I was saying, um, people actually think the world's going back to normal and things are getting better just because there's people watching Premier League football in the bleachers. What the fuck does that go do with anything, man? That's what all that is, that's a distraction from what's really going on. And they perceive that distraction as a purpose to, and as progress. You right. know, exactly. As, <laughs> yeah, as a way, as the brother said, to get back to normality, so called. Yeah. This is John 16 and 2. They shall put you out of the synagogues, yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth the most high service. And when you get that word service, it's the word latreia. Latreia in Greek basically means like your ultimate reverence, because when you get the word idolatry, that 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 latter word that that prefix latri goes into this Greek word latreia. So putting basically putting, they think they're gonna put the Most High God on, uh, give him the highest reverence by doing this act. They're gonna think they're serving him at the highest level by killing, really his chosen men, his his sons, man. That's right. So, in other words, man, they they have everything completely upside down. I know what they're doing when they do that. They're suffering as, as a, you know, a murderer. They're going to murder you. Specific brothers of, you know, of this truth. That's right. They're deceived and deceiver above this, so mm -hmm. they'll think they're doing the right thing. <laughs> but you can do nothing against the truth. Only the for truth. the truth. Perfect, Cut. perfect. All it's going to do is, is fulfill what the scripture says. And they ain't going to understand that because they're lost. Because the God of this world blinded the people of the world, including our people who are basically of the world, who are Gentiles, foreigners, nations. That's what they are, man. They're foreign to the truth. They're foreign to the, their true heritage. That's right. This is Philippians chapter 4, verse 7. And the peace of Yahweh, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Hamashayach, Yahweh Shai. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, Whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. And you know, you're not going to find that in this world. You're not going to find just things, you know, pure things of this world, only in the scriptures, only in this truth. All right, and the truth is the comforter. Mm. You know, so you turn to that for your rest. Mm. Yeah, yeah, right, right. right. The comfort comes in, in this word. You know, like the, when you look around. It might be some. It might be enjoying to go and do some sparring or whatever, but it's it's, it's what is it? It's temporary. It's just the exactly. thing you do on the side. Then it, it it should all be centered around doing the ministry and, and you know, yeah, man, the brotherhood ministry wise. That's right. The, you know, there's a, there are some sort of you know like bit of knowledge in in this world that you can use to you know using the ministry or even using your you know your everyday life, your walk. Or what they take from the scriptures. So ultimately, they just so they just yeah. It's all scriptural, no matter what, you know. Because right. you know, if 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 there's something good out there, really the scriptures is like it. It's going to be the the foundation to even apply to even to really um, have full assurance that this is this is good. Like if there's something amongst the world, you have to use the scriptures to dark. That's actually something kind of good, you know. But you're not gonna. But again, it doesn't mean that you. You're gonna get um, 
as you say, like a comfort and enjoyment in its full perspective in the world. You're just not, man, because the world is designed to just fuck up everything, to keep these damn Edomites, the high up, you know, elites, right at the top, and everybody else just completely subordinate to them or sending out to get some wealth from them. And you don't want to be a sellout, man. You're damn sure you don't want to be no sellout. The heavy price that comes with that. You know. Philippines 4 and 9, those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do and the power of peace shall be with you. Here you go. Can. And what, what happens when the world becomes even like everything or hell breaks loose? How are you going to get comfort then? You're going to go to your parties then. You're going to go clubbing then. Who are you going to turn to for answers? You know? What, what, you're going to go to us? Well, how do you know that? Because the family of the world is going to come. We're not going to be out on the streets if people are rioting, man. You think I'm going to be stood right here if people were killing each other over there? You fucked up, man. Get the fuck out of there. <laughs> Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 8. And the Lord Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, he it is that doeth, that doth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee. Neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. There you go. And that's plain. There you go. So we know the, the fear is going to be amongst people of the world. But you see, the righteous are going to be purified in that time. And Lord willing, we're of that number. Okay? This is uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus. In fact, yeah. False. I'll switch it up. I'll go both actually. Why not? It's the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 2, and verse 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. You know, patience. And right now we are in a lower state to, to, you know, to a, a very large degree. We're definitely in our spirit, we're, we're, ex we're, no, we're, we're, um, we're of high spirits as they say, you know, because we know the truth now and we, we have faith, you know, in Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, being a protector, okay? If, and we know that when she hits the fan out here, it's closer to the kingdom. But we're still, we're in a lower state because we are now, we're taken away from our original state and now we're now put in subjection as slaves. We're subject to these powers right now that rule. Because Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, he, he, he actually made these powers have their position Therefore, we have to be subject unto them. We're not going to here to revolt against them. What does it say in John 18? It says, if this, if this, um, damn, bear with me, bear, I'll get it, I'll get it. I can't paraphrase it. It's the book of John, chapter 18, and uh, let's go to verse, real quick, go to verse 36. Yahweh answered, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight? That I should not be delivered to the Jews, but now is my kingdom not from hence, right? That's why he was he was he was uh, giving himself up as a sheep to the slaughter. He knew the prophecy had to be fulfilled. It wasn't his time to reign and conquer. Alright, it, it was his time for his blood to be shed and for him to actually suffer the afflictions for his for his for the for his nation, for his people, and for his previous life, his sins in his past life. He wasn't he was sinless as Yahweh Shai Hamashayah, but he had to go go through the uh, the burden of the cross. And Yahweh Shai says, you know, we have to carry our cross, which basically means we have to go through afflictions, we have to suffer. That's right. And again, you're going to have to suffer in some way or another in this world. Why not suffer for the truth? Never mind, why not? You know, you should be, yeah, let's do it. Let's suffer for the truth, man. You know, you always, again, I, you know, you see in the movies, right? The guy who's all cool and he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a man who's with great integrity, he's always suffering for the truth. For, he's always going through hardship. He's always working hard or pushing some type of thing for the truth's sake in the movies and whatnot. But then if it comes to real life, that's, you know, you're a soft mute, but you like to watch these movies. <laughs> you demons, man. But anyway, again, Yahweh Shai's kingdom is not of this world. This world is contrary. Sarak 2 and verse 5 now, it says, For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, right? Gold is tried in the fire, you purify gold by putting it through heat. But when, when it goes through that process, it, it, get, it becomes purified. And the same thing with us, if we're going through adversary, you know, we'll be purified through it if we have true faith. Our faith will be magnified. Right. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for a time when, yeah, we, yeah, we've been sad for a long time, we've been down, you know, shit's been getting to us, our flesh is getting weak on us. Because our flesh is we 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 the spirit operates in both, in this vessel you know, known as the human body, our flesh, and it's, it's, it's defiled, man. So we're our own worst enemies we walk around. So now we've got to add, just to make that fucking even worse than it could possibly get. We've got enemies everywhere. We've got all types of shit going everywhere to make us feel down. But it's all worth it. It's all worth it, man. Right. I know I'm holding you. I know I'm holding you. 
but hear me up, I've got one more here. It's the Book of Wisdom of Solomon. And I believe you know what I'm going to get. Wisdom of Solomon 5. And, um, or do you know what I'm going to get? Uh, I can't think so. Wisdom of Solomon 5. Is it even 5? I think it's 3. Let's go 3. Wisdom of Solomon 3, sorry, verse 6. Uh, says, as gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. There you go. So he's going to try us, man. It's going to be tried. Our faith is going to be uh, put through a trial while afflictions come upon us, temptations come upon us. And 1 Corinthians 10 and 13 says, you know, he's, he's, he's given us temptations that we actually can overcome, we can bear. He's, he's given us an escape. No, I'm, I'm not going to read it today, but it's not going to get scripture, but you know, that's what it says. This is Psalms chapter 3, verse 3. But thou, O Lord Yahweh, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of mine head. There you go. A shield. All right. <laughs> the song is there. Look. Right there, right there. Oh. Yeah, I see. <laughs> That's <laughs> <what's> coming. <laughs> yeah, soldiers over there. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I was like, oh yeah, a shield. So what, again, a shield. So when, when things come upon us, will be protected, you know. But think about a shield as well, like, uh, you know, if you're in war and you have to strike, you still get impact of the shield. If you think about it, if you're, if you say you haven't got weapons, right, or you you know, it is like, realistically, gloves are weapons. They are protection, they are shields. You, know, you do martial arts, you start to realize that. You know, it still hurts, man. You, you block shit, it doesn't really feel too good. You have to keep pushing it back, your energy gets drained, but you still got the protection to endure. Do you know what I'm saying? And I, with seals, you know, you still got to push through the force. Your muscles are going to obviously get some level of fatigue or whatever. And you have to, you know, reload your energy. That's what it's going to be like. We've got a shield to protect us. We're going to still have to go through a, a spiritual war. But, you know, with true faith, you know, that's what that's what the most high requires of us. To have faith to the end. That throughout the process, we will, you know, we will be able to stand. But you see, the world doesn't think like that. Because they're, they're, they're depressed. They're put through, they're put through the hell. And then they've been told that you can't go through it, that you can't actually um, overcome it, and that you can't actually, uh, you basically won't be able to feel happy unless you take these pills, or you basically got this mental condition. Really, you're just fucking, you're just, you're just, demons are on you, all right? Because demons are sent upon you for you to feel things of low, you know, feel down, feel lowly, want to sin, want to kill yourself, some people want to kill themselves. But of course, through this word, man, that's what gives us strength to, to overcome any type of weird temptation to come upon us. I would mind, man. Okay. This is Psalms 32, and verse 10. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusteth in the Lord Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, mercy shall come past him about. Mercy unto that man, you know. Exactly. Because, you know, if, if um, you no, know, because if, if, if things happen upon the people of the world, they're going to be very weak. They're going to be. They're going to show a lot of these so-called tough guys who always like to talk about. You know, what do you say? What do you say strongest men. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Strongest Gym rats yeah, yeah. and yeah, yeah. your big, your big muscly dudes. The guys who, who, who fought in the UFC. You know, your your soldiers. Even them. Fear's going to come around, man. Fear, fear's going to come around these guys big time, and they're not going to they're not going to fucking show themselves to be tough guys in that day. You thought you thought these guys were tough guys. Not so. Maybe for a bit. When shit gets real heavy, you're gonna see. You're gonna see fear come up. It's, it's inevitable, man. Especially in Babylon the Great. You know, the scriptures say that. I'm gonna read it, man. Right, this is a good scripture. I'm gonna bring this out now. Isaiah chapter 19. Because Isaiah 19 is going into the judgment of Egypt, but that's spiritual Egypt, which is America. The book of Isaiah chapter 19. I'm gonna go straight to verse 16. And that day shall Egypt be like unto women. So men are going to be like women. <laughs> and then if men are going to be like women, <laughs> what are women going to be like? Exactly. And as Brother Mashah said, not men. <laughs> Alright, they ain't going to start becoming like soldiers and having this brave spirit. You go, girl. <laughs> ain't going to be like that. They're going to be fucking, they're going to humble the fuck down. Right, this whole feminism shit is going to be Audi 5000. I can't wait for that day. Alright. Because right now in this world, the way Esau set up, a woman passes a man. And to compass means to circle around, you know. That's that's the world we live in today, though. 
but uh, Isaiah 1960, in that day shall Egypt be like unto women, and it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of Yahweh of hosts, which is shaken over it, because Yahweh Bashami Ashai, he's gonna make all judgment happen upon this earth, send many demons, stir spirits to do all types of things, man. This is all the Heavenly Father's power, his his might, his will. When when, when wickedness comes upon you, it's it's the most high's will. So the judgment is a righteous thing to happen. Evils come upon you, but it's a righteous thing for the Most High to bring those evils unto you. Right. Like it says in Micah 7 and 9, you know, you're going to bear the indignation of the Lord, right? Yep, yep. And we're doing that right now, our being in, in slavery. Because this this happened because we sinned in the Most High. He he, he He's showing now his indignation this time. And his indignation is going to come upon the earth for all the all the lab, labors of wickedness that they've not, they've not even, they've not made account of such labors, these, these damn devils. He saw Edom and the other nations taking power with them. The number one nation of wickedness is, of course, the so-called white man, you know? okay. which is Esau, Edom. This is Psalm 42, verse 11. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in the Most High, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my power. Yeah, and, you know, again, you know, we turn to the Lord, you know, because again, he's our shield, as well as the scriptures. Yeah. All right. And Yahweh Shai is the word, you know. Yahweh Shai is our Lord. If you turn to this again, it's all for comfort. Exactly. In your Romans 15 and 4. Okay. Romans chapter 15 verse 4 for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope yep read it again for whatsoever things were written aforetime aforetime in the past yep it was right? written to, it was written beforehand so what does that mean basically things to come for example, prophecy is saying, say before. So you said it before it's happened. Keep going. Right. We're written for our learning. Right. The law, statutes, and commandments, the prophecies, the wisdom, and the scripture in general. It's written a full time for us to learn, not for us to just have that. Uh, you know, we're not supposed to. Our Bible should not be collect collecting dust in our house. Keep going. That's a video in of itself, really, our title. <laughs> that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope right patience again be patient when you're in a lower state and read the scriptures and understand why we're in lower state understand what what the benefits of doing such are how adversity is it, it's shaping us and through it through the patience you know, through comfort of the scriptures you know we'll have hope have faith hope faith belief these are synonyms i like to bring that out a lot to really get in your head you know, that's that's basically what it means man we have to have belief Belief in what though? Belief that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is our shield. He is going to protect us. And word for patience in that verse. Bear with me. Strong's G 5281. Upon my name. Upon my name. And it goes into steadfastness, constancy, endurance. Steadfastness, yeah. That's right. Endurance. Patiently, steadfastly. In the New Testament, the characteristic of a man who is not swerved from his deliberate purpose and his loyalty to faith and piety by even the greatest trials and sufferings. Yep. Fight that fight, basically. Fight the fight for faith, no matter That's what. Right. Perseverance. It's, it's going to be a spiritual fight. Yeah, perseverance, you know, to continue, basically. Right. Yeah, because basically, yeah, this walk's not easy. Yeah, like you, you, if, if you're in this, if you're in this shoot, it's not going to be easy, man. It's like, everywhere you go is wickedness. How can it be easy to turn away from wickedness? You know, temptations left, right, and centre. You know, family members coming against you. Friends not looking at you, looking at you as a friend anymore. So yeah, to try to kill you, take exactly. your family when there's famine. It says that friends fighting each other. It says that in the scripture. It's written a four time for our learning. That's all we know. We know. We, and if it wasn't written a four time, we, we would have to. We, you know, we might not have it in our spirit that way. 
you might be a bit oh, he's my friend. But now we don't think like that. We think, hey, you know, you're alright for now, but we'll see, man. We'll fucking see. I kind of regret letting somebody in the world know where I kind of live, man. I mean, we live in the same neighborhood, but I don't really want them to know how, because we live somewhat distant, somewhat. So I, don't, I wish I didn't even know his whereabouts where I live, just in case, man. But it's okay, because. Yep. I'm sure he would have found it potentially if he was hungry enough if the Lord put demons on him to track him, you know, track him down. So it's for this for the purpose of us, you know, to be shaping through adversity, man. You know, I thought I'd uh, look up clinical depression and the treatment for it. And it reads, treatment for depression usually involves a combination of lifestyle changes, talking therapies, and medicines. And here's, here's the deal, here's the deal. It, it's it's really usually all those things. Okay, right. right. And therapy and stuff, having someone talk to you, what's he gonna fucking say? I mean, people who are confused of their, of their, you know, of their, of their ender, if you know what I mean, confused about their, who they are, their biology, okay, they go to fucking therapy. Do you think, do you think, do you think the guy in the therapy seat saying, you know, you've got a mental illness, you don't know what's going on, you know, you clearly, someone's, you upbringing with your family, your parents must have, you know, they don't say this stuff, man. I guarantee you they don't. I don't know for sure, but like, let's be real. In this world, like, all right, how about this? I know, I used to know individual, you know, who was doing the therapy and stuff, but she was bugged out on mine. How, they, they, they'll hire people that, that are bugged out there, and this woman was not kind of bugged out. She was getting pills for depression or whatever. Yeah, that's what I mean, but she's out here being a therapist. <laughs> Seems like a lot of times, sometimes you're coaching them rather than <laughs> getting the so-called treatment, you know, from them. You know, they're going to just keep telling you so you can keep coming back and spending of course. money. So, yeah, man. A cycle. Heavy business, man. This, this, this pharmacia, big business, man. You get big money, these, these higher leagues from this shit, man. And they're all, they're all, they're all in it together. And they, they, what do they say again? Therapy and then lifestyle changes. changes. Well, what lifestyle changes? Organic food, that's what you should turn to. Yeah. Take, you know, medicine, uh, you know, the herbs. Herbs, medicine, healings, like things. Of the earth, man. That's what the Lord made for men. Let me get that. And yeah, you're gonna get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Make sure you got two hands on it. Book of Ecclesiastes. Book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 38, verse 1. Honor a physician with the honor due unto him. And a physician is those that provide medicine, right? But the physician today is a physician of no value. These physicians referring to those you know, of our nation who actually, you know, all like they'll be priests or whatnot. Go on. Honor a physician with the honor due unto him for the uses which ye may have of him. For the Lord hath created him, for of the Most High cometh healing, and he shall receive honor of the king. And this is the thing, the Most High power, he's the one that's going to heal us. He's right. the one that's going to actually really and truly put us in a better position, make us feel strengthened, it's all going to be through the spirit. And then straight to the point is four. Can. Verse four. The Lord has created medicines out of the earth. There you go. That's what. That's medicine, man. Not go to a lab, get a fucking beacon, and put this type of weird chemical in it, and then light the wow, that get type the of measurements shit. for it and yeah. all that. And put yeah. goggles on, make sure it don't go everywhere. Put gloves and mask, make sure you have a do all this extra shit to make something. You know that sort of stuff has never really sat right with me. You know, I did a, a placement one time at a pharmacist for about two weeks and, you know, it's very, you know, complex because you've got to have, you know, the, the knowledge behind it. Then it can be quite overwhelming at the same time. But again, that's never been, you know, the, the ultimate solution for, you know, for health because, you know, these things cause side effects. It may cure you temporarily of that but then there'll be another problem and then you'll have to take something else right to try and cure that and then another problem arises and from that drug and, then, and all of them are they make you dependent on them it can and i used to know i used to know a brother you know he used to he's, he's i think he's a jake probably know the kingdom like yo what's up yeah because he's from he's from a certain place he's from kashmir it? Can. and like he uh you know, he was telling he was telling me like when he used to work in pharmacy, people like people are pussies, man. Any little thing they want to get a fucking paracetamol. <laughs> Any little thing they have to they they pussies now basically. It breeds pussies. It's all pharmacia shit, man. You want to go take a pill because you feel kind of tired. I've seen that before, man. That shit's weird. And then as well, 
He was telling me how people just they want to buy Viagra, blue pills. They don't even need it. They just want to they just want to fucking do it, try it. They just want to just experiment with these things. Yeah. What happened to you know just going out, exercising in the sunlight, you know, jogging. You know, these are natural remedies. Right. Right. Yeah. People, yeah. Yeah. I, I used to one time this 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 E guy Zedemite when we were. Uh, talking one day when he was just getting ready to do some sparring on the grass and shit, um, he was like, a, you know, my my friend. Basically, every time he gets a, he was telling me the story that his friend, every time he get hangover, he go for a run, he feel better. All right, see, just not exercise does help you feel better. The amount of times I felt like shit and went to go do some exercise, I felt better. And not just the amount of times I felt shit and just had something like lemon and ginger tea, uh, not a fucking pill form or anything, anything like that, just. Lemon and ginger tea. I was fine, man. Another thing about this stuff as well is this whole pharmacia shit. You know, a big, a big thing, a big thing. You know, you know, with, especially now with the women's lib and feminism and all that shit, is getting them, is getting them Plan B pills. You had this other story, right? He's huh. talking about this real fucking overweight whale Eve. Okay. Wow. We're hopping in. <laughs> I said, wow. <laughs> Hop- <laughs> Already we're in trouble, yeah? <laughs> Hopping in there, sweating, trying to get a plan B, yeah? Like, because that's, that's, they, now they're making really irresponsible decisions and they're panicking last minute. Yeah, that, that, hey, man, it's all, it's all by design, man. That's right. <laughs> you know, you know, body, bodily exercise profits, but it profits little. Yeah, of course. And what happened to, you know, fasting? Or just eating healthier instead of, you know, instead of eating instead of eating fucking crap every day, and then now you want to take a pill to help that instead of just changing your life. And maybe there's now maybe there's some therapist that'll have good advice, but for the very most part, fuck out of here, man. They're all they're all just part of it. So they're all part of the same shit, man. That's right. But yeah, you you got any more? Or should, I keep, should I bring some out? You can bring some out of the box. There we. I cause let's get it. Let's get it. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter two and verse seventeen. Therefore, I hated life. So Solomon said that, man. That he hated life. It says because the work that is wrought under the sun is grievous unto me. How much more now? With wickedness going up, 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 and increasing all the time, man. Now, of course, we're gonna hate our life, but we know why we hate our life. We know what's going on through the spirit. Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, He's blessed us for us to know what's really going on. But these other nations, are, and people of our nation that are in the world, excuse me, in the world, they're gonna be like, I'm depressed. I can't help it. I've got a mental condition. I don't feel like I got a place in this world. And you tell them, hey brother, you know, if you used to be like, hey brother, you know, you don't. They're gonna go, oh, man, you're not helping or whatever. If it's a woman, she's gonna go, oh, hey man, women who are who claim to have depression and get, they are the most fucking prideful, attention-seeking bitches you can fucking meet, man. You Eve, man, fucking are you so-called depressed Eve? You're a fucking, you're you're, you're ready for shit. You just you just you're sad because you're not the special whore. <laughs> Everything's accessible to you, man. Yeah, Everything the f- you. yeah, man. Your fucking life is. Have it easy, man. Super easy. That's why I said, right, it was a rise at women, women yeah, at ease. ease. That's right. You're in, you're in, you're in ease right now, man. And yeah, you got some level of fit, of course, because everyone has some. But that's the point. Stop being, a, you know, too many pussyfied motherfuckers out here, you know. Men and, and women that just want attention, that because that, women are soft anyway. Of, they're supposed to have level of, of being, you know, not being these brave, tough ones. We're not expecting that. We're exp- we, of course. You can't really expect anything from women anyway, for the very most part, man. Because all thanks to feminism, <laughs> women get everything their way. It's all what the woman wants, not for them. So if they have something kind of off, they'll start saying they're depressed. Because they I need to take these pills because life is against me. And here's the deal. The world it isn't necessarily for anyone but the, the elites. That's right. You know, they're, 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 they're basically everyone is slaves. But the thing is, you don't see it like that. So what, what do you want? Well, what do you actually want for this whole depression thing you're saying you're going through? <laughs> this, is what, this is what we're saying, Achim. <laughs> this, this whole thing about depression is, is the most fucking... It's just ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. It's overhyped. It's not being... Uh, the, the whole concept is not being declared accurately. 
We see the scriptures will make it declared accurately. But let's finish, let's finish the scripture. Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and 17. Therefore I hated life because of the because the work that is wrought under the sun is grievous unto me. For all is vanity. And for all is vanity, right? Which means worthlessness. Right? No value. And it says, and vexation of spirit. So vexation of spirit is something that we're supposed to feel. You're supposed to look around these fucking these alphabet boys. Uh, you're supposed to look at these fucking even really like damn near everyone. I mean, like, you know, you vex me out, man. That's right. Even our families get vex us out, man. When they say stupid shit, when they do stupid shit, when they show themselves as hypocrites or, or e lovers, it vexes us, man. That's right. It's the book of John, chapter sixteen, verse thirty-three. These thing, these things. I have spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. There you go. That's in red letter, so it's your Havishai speaking. There you go. And he's the Prince of Peace. And if he's overcome the world and he's dwell and, he, and, he, and if he's dwelling within us, we can overcome the world through Yahushai, man. Because they hate us. And here's the thing, if they hate us, it's because they hate Yahushai. That's right. Because Yahweh Shai dwelt in us. They don't really just hate, they don't really hate us, they hate Yahweh Shai in us. And that's, so they're indirectly hating Yahweh Shai. Because they hate the true doctrine, they hate the truth, man. And the truth is, because the truth, this book rebukes this world heavy, man. Anyone who tries to tell you that, that this, this is the so called white man's book, this, you know, this, this book is, oh, is of the world, if they say it like that, you're full of shit, man. You open this book, you ain't gonna get, you ain't gonna see no, no happy thoughts and lollipops about this, this, this world, man. What the fuck, a freak? That's what I mean. I'm already vexed, man. I'm a fucking right. You got freaks, man. No freak ass fucking mold by freaks, man. <laughs> fucking man. Yeah. And our people, why would you want to, you know, cleave onto this this place? Try and make it here. All right, raise your children here. And Ooh, most freaks. Sorry, and just to make can't. a point, we're not saying don't have children, but you shouldn't yeah. have it. No, because it says be fruitful and multiply. Can't. But you know, having children here. You know, like in a sense of you want to like you want to build up, you know, uh, a typical household according to the Western ways. That's right. Yeah. Be more specific on that. Yeah, so, right. yeah. yeah. It's all good. I haven't got anything yet. So lucky. Got one last one. This is John chapter fifteen, verse eighteen. If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. There you go. Therefore, that, the world hated you. There you go. That should be pretty clear. Self-explanatory, yeah. Yeah. Yahweh Shai chose his his you know he chose the elect of the nation of Israel out of the world, man. He chose them to be. No, you're going to do the ministry. You're going to you're going to do everything for the heavenly Father. It's plain, man, and that's that's why they're going to hate us because you know that these people who are. They'll, they'll fight for each system if they're dependent on it. And they do depend on it. For the vain, deceitful lust. This is... If I can you get closures 2 and 8. This is the book of Psalm 26 and 1. Judge me, O Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, for I have walked in mine integrity. I have trusted also in, in Yahweh, therefore I shall not slide. Examine me, O Yahweh, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart, which goes into your mind. And you see, this is the thing. King David was saying that, man. You know, tr try me, man. Like he didn't say, he didn't say, try me, man. He, 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 I'm saying, you know, he said, try me. So he, he said, try me, you know, to prove me. You know, put me through some of that, make me really blossom in faith, basically, man. That's what we should want. That's how we should think. Because you don't have, because that's the only. Thing. What else are you gonna do? Fall into the traps, fall into the snare, tap dance your way into the snare, do a little goodie. Into the snare. <laughs> Book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Yahawashai, Hamashaya. Yep. The rudiments, right? The, the first principles of the world is actually all BS, man. So therefore, we have to turn it to a side. We follow after the ways of, of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. 
And in this world, they don't know, they don't know, they don't know nothing. So if you if you go into this this world for answers of, of so-called spiritual things, of course you're gonna be depressed because you're gonna get shit. You're gonna get no actual fruitful from them, man. You're gonna get corrupt fruits. Imagine if you're hungry, and you're trying to get some fruit, and then you keep going to the corrupt tree, the, the corrupt tree to get the fruit, and you get all this absolute whack, untended tree fruit. You're gonna be like, the fruit sucks. No, really, you just you gotta take care of the tree, make sure the fruits blossom right. Maybe it's not ripe. Maybe the weather, whatever, man. I don't know. Whatever, <laughs> whatever. the case may be. You yeah. Know. And now we know we're likened to trees. If you go into a corrupt tree to try and get its fruit to get better, it's corrupt fruit. What do you expect? <laughs> I mean, get, get closer to an eight again for Bible. Okay. Sure. Colossians chapter two, verse eight. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. And, and what is philosophy? What's philosophy? Philosophy. Philo goes into love, and Sophie goes into the word Sophia, which means wisdom. So love of wisdom. So false. Right? They're, they're, it's false wisdom, basically, man. So right. they think that people in the world, they think they got this wisdom, they think they have this really in-depth understanding of God and religion and, 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 and spiritual awareness and awareness of energies and myself and fuck all that shit, man. You don't know what's going on. You have no idea what's going on. When, when shit is the fan, it's going to be so obvious you don't know what's going on. You don't know, you don't know what to do. You're going to show that you ain't got a spirit of strength in you. You ain't got a spirit that actually can operate in a time of fire. Right. Only the elect will. That's that's really it, the elect, that's it. <laughs> Some people ain't gonna take the charisma of the nations. Doesn't mean they ain't gonna be afraid and all shit. They're still gonna be weak, they're still gonna be fucking they're still gonna be lost. They're still gonna be they're still gonna show that they ain't shit basically. And listen, we ain't shit. It's through you how about Shemia Shai we're gonna actually be lost in. But they ain't got that, so they most certainly ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> Colossians 2 and 8 Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy And vain deceit yep. After the tradition of men After the rudiments Of the world you go. The Traditions of men And you can see that that's what people are following after Continuously again and again Which doesn't do anything for anyone Therefore how the fuck can you expect for yourself to be happy Okay your, 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 the, lack, the reason why most of these people are, is, are Really so, so called depressed it's because the fact that they keep giving themselves over to, to any anything that's just a pastime that makes them basically forget about their real problems. They go, what what problems are we going on, man? <laughs> but you see, the elect ain't gonna do that. And Lord willing, with that number, of the whole elect, we're constantly looking out. All right, so we you know we can see that the the shortages of food are coming. All right, we can we can see that um, hey, the wheat supply is gonna be out, which is food. I'm just saying, you know, to be elaborate. More famines. Yep. Diesel issues with diesel. Export, export in general, okay. Rumors of war, things that happen occurring with these nations for, for, for kingdom to come against kingdom, nation against nation. Matthew twenty-four is what says that, and that's the. It also says after it's the beginning of sorrows. So is it? Is it really? Is it? Can you really say it in pestilence? Right, we've already been some level of it. It's going to be even more. It's going to get worse and worse, man. Make the crown royal look. <laughs> And, but these guys don't know it's going to get worse. These guys don't know anything. Exactly. That's why we got to really thank you, Hawabar Shamiya Shai, for taking us out of the world, man. Right? And that's why the world ain't down with us, because we're not like them. And we should be happy to be not like them. We should, we're not supposed to be liked by everyone, man. Let me get that scripture, man. The book of Luke. Some of you be like, oh, I, don't, I don't feel happy because people don't, you know, get down with me and stuff. And, and this truth, man. If you like, if you like me, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look at myself a little bit. Like, what well, am I doing something wrong? And I actually do that sometimes. I'm like, am I doing something wrong? Because these guys are a little bit too comfortable around me. And if people are, maybe it's not that bad. Because he also says, you know, if you can't live peace with all men, if you obey right. peace with the Lord, you can make your enemies, you know, to be at peace with you. Scriptures go into these things, but don't get me wrong. Still examine yourself, right? right? Luke six and verse twenty-six. It says, "Woe unto you, and all men shall speak well of you." <laughs> Let's read that again. Woe unto you, which goes into what? Death and destruction unto you, when all men shall speak well of you. For so did their fathers to the false prophets. Because there's a lot of false prophets out here, man, that people are like, you know, everyone's, oh, this guy is a good person. He, he always talks about peace. They don't want to talk about war and destruction. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Uh, this is Philippians 4 and 19. But my power, Yahweh, shall supply all you need according to his riches in glory by Hamashayach, Yahweh Shai. 
All right. There you go. There you go. And we'll close out with this one. Book of Philippians 1 and 29. For unto you it is given in the behalf of Hamashiach, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake. Having the same conflict which you saw in me and now here to be here to be in me. So we have to suffer for Yahweh Shai's, you know, his, his, uh, it's just to suffer for his sake. We have to go through, we have to go through things, man. And that stuff may not always make us feel super happy, but when we, when we really truly know what it's for, that should really make us happy, man. In fact, I'm going to close out with this scripture. It's the book of Romans, chapter 8, and verse 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Perfect. There you go. And, you know, Adon Ratazad, this video was edifying. Adon Ratazad, this exhorted you and strengthened you in your spirit, gave you comfort in these, in these times that we're living in. If you, know, if you need that comfort, you know, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. And of course, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rukhak, Kudash. Wath the Babal, Shalom. Shalom.